zero. So I'm just going to start here. And this is radio, so I'm going to be polite in the way I say this. But Obama, former President Barack Obama, was and continues to be full of something that is dark, squishy, and that stinks to high heaven. Yes, the same Barack Obama that won president in 2008 on the mantle of hope and change, a meaningless slogan that was in no way, <laughs> in no way uh, uh, accomplished or even sought after. Still going with the stupid on stilts logic that Democrats lost seats in the House because of progressives, because of defunding the police. It, 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 it stirred the crowd. It, it undermined the election. His um, um, Biden didn't necessarily get his additional seats in the House, and Biden didn't necessarily win the Senate, potentially, because of progressives. Now, mind you, the candidates that backed Medicare for All and a Green New Deal won their seats also. It's totally coincidental that this line of logic is beneficial to corporate Democrats who never wants to take, it, uh, 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 never wants to take the acknowledge their own failures in this stuff. It's always somebody else's fault. If it's the Russians, if it's Comey, or in this case, it's progressives. Obama tells Peter Hamby, host of the Snapchat show, Good Luck America, quote, you lost a big audience the minute you say it, which makes it a lot less likely you're actually going to get the changes you want done. The former president said in an interview scheduled to go live at 6 a.m. on Wednesday, according to Axios. The key is deciding, do you really do you want to actually get something done or do you want to feel good among people you already agree with? Obama added. Catchy slogan. Obama makes the point about a catchy slogan, like the meaningless, catchy slogan of hope and change. I mean, let's be clear. During Obama's tenure, Democrats lost 1,200 House, uh, well, 1,100, more than 1,100 seats in the House, the Senate, all throughout the United States. Even in the House of Representatives, they lost the House and they lost the Senate during Obama's tenure. So this notion of do you want to be catchy and get things done? Yes, Obama was able to stay in office, but the feat of losing that much, honestly, if you were trying to do it on purpose, I would have my doubts that you could do it on purpose. That is the degree of failure to which we are talking about. And this kind of gets to my point. Multiculturalism is not equal to progressive. And I know not everybody People feel dodgy about saying stuff like that, but I'll say it because it's flat fact true. Yes, there's something to be said about multiculturalism that works in tandem with being a lefty and meaning you could be both. But multiculturalism in and of itself is not progressive. It could be, but it is not necessarily the case. Now, the reason I say this, the reason why I have to say this is because the Democratic Party continues to distract with multiculturalism. And the media would call this progressive. You would hear these whispers of progressives about Biden's campaign. Biden would say, hey, I, my campaign, um, I already have enough progressives in my campaign. What are you talking about? Who? 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 I don't feel represented. I don't know any lefties that feel represented. Rahm Emanuel, the guy that hid in execution, the guy that hid lead in the water, that guy is representative of somehow of lefties. Nier Tandon, who never has a good word to say about the left, that person is representative. The other person um, that's going to be Secretary of State that is associated with all of these wars and all of these killings, I guess I'm making a very basic point that just because you have a multicultural campaign or administration or cabinet, you have people, all, all these various races, that does not, in fact, mean it's on the left. Democrats use this to distract and to shield from real, actual criticism. You would have somebody, it was like, Medicare for all, and then, poof, black person. <laughs> Green New Deal, poof, hermaphrodite. 
And and somebody says, wait a minute, what about the what about the policies? Oh, you're being racist. You're being racist. No. The key point here is you can keep the identity. Give us the Medicare for all. You can keep the identity. Give us uh, um, expansion of Social Security. Give us this notion of, of elimination of student debt and free colleges and universities. Um, those are things that people want. Those are things that people need. Those are things that directly benefit those particular identities that you claim to represent. The trick that they are playing here is that the public has this implicit belief that a disadvantaged community or a person from a disadvantaged community, whatever that community is, will somehow, somehow, in the things that they do and the decisions that they make, benefit those communities. And by definition of benefiting those communities, they would have to be progressive, right? Wrong. The issue is here is class. The issue is not necessarily race. Yes, you can have continuity from the standpoint in regards to the policy and framing of mind and way of thinking and everything else with a change in the exterior. But the change in the exterior is not the point. The point is what are they doing in that office? People are policy. And when those people have a track record of acting a particular way, they're going to act that way. Obama's blackness didn't stop him from giving 95% of the income gains to the top 1%. His blackness didn't stop him from allowing homeowners, many of which were black, to go bust. His blackness didn't stop him from the drone bombings or the killings um, around the globe, many of which people of color. I mean, for God's sake, they're selling slaves in Libya. Black slaves, his blackness did not stop him from having, from cleaning up the water in Flint, Michigan. What did he do? He went there and took a sip of the water as if the water was okay, mocking the people in that place that had to deal with those kids that were drinking that lead water and the illnesses in those communities. Nor did it get him to tell his chief of staff, Rahm Emanuel, to clean up Chicago and deal with the dirty, filthy, lead riddled water in that city. His blackness didn't do any of that stuff. I'm making the point that the issue is class. Don't get distracted with these ideas of identity as if identity is the greatest thing. Yes, I want various identities to rep represent it, but I want them to be genuinely represented. And by genuinely represented, I mean doing things, tangible, political, policy things that are in the interest of those communities. And what you've seen are these whispers of progressives without any talk of policy, as if a person just standing there as a statue is somehow progressive. Nonsense. It is what you do, not what you look like or what you are. It is what you do. And fact of the matter is what people do has not even been discussed. That's not what people are talking about. That's not the thing that's up for conversation. No, you get various identities and they would say, oh, this is the most diverse presidency in history. And you ask yourself, what does that mean if they're not really necessarily doing anything for those communities in real terms? It's just theatrics. And it's theatrics that works against our interests. They use Black Lives Matter for props. I told you they'll do that. They use Jacob Blake as a prop. I told you they'll do that. They use George Floyd as a prop. I told you they would do that. And I told you at the end of all of that, they would win the presidency and all of that stuff will go away. It, look, this is something that they do and they've been doing for God knows how long. It's easy to see. You just have to pay attention to it. I'm just making the very basic point that don't get tricked into this belief that just because he has a diverse, you know, cabinet or a diverse administration, that that is in any way indicative of lefty or progressivism. Look at what they do. That is what matters, not how they look. Shane, what do you think about that? I mean, Obama comes out and trashes lefties, but at the end of the day, people were thinking that Obama, the black president, is going to do something fundamentally different. And he was just surprised, a Democrat. 